Okay, it's time to read some books. So let's start with that time. There was once a kitten so filled with love he wanted to give the whole world a hug. Hug the whole world. Will that make it better? As Jules nodded yes, Doozy helped with his sweater. There was no one this kitten wanted to miss, so he made and checked twice a hug to-do list. He hugged his best friends, Mooch, Noodles, and Earl. A butterfly, buttercups, and a little gray squirrel. He hugged all the birds he could find in the park. So many to hug before it got dark. Jules jumped on a boat and set out to sail, and soon he spotted a big blue tail. Attached to a huggable big blue whale. The boat docked in Africa and Jules kissed the ground. Earth so precious, so fragile, so round. He hugged an elephant. And a chimpanzee. A giraffe? Like he's hugging his face, how cute. A hippo? A baobab tree? Exploring the rainforest by foot and canoe, Jules discovered a species brand new. Kneeling, he whispered, we welcome you. Traveling on, he hugged a new, a panda, a peacock, and a petite, petite poodoo. A wallaby, a wombat, and a humu humu fish. Number 306 on his hug to do list. But at the North Pole, Jules sadly found what it would be like with no one around. So Jules was surprised when his tail got a tug, and a polar bear asked, Would you like a hug? The world is so big. And 
and yet so small. It's time that we embrace it all. That's something we, something that we all can do. Start with the one who's closest to you. Hug time. Purring kitty. Where are you gonna hug it? The end. Let's read another one. Hush, little baby. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna show you a hummingbird. If that hummingbird should fly, Mama's gonna show you the evening sky. When the nighttime shadows fall, Mom's gonna hear the crickets call. While their song drifts from afar, Mom's gonna search for a shooting star. And when that star has dropped from view, Mom is gonna read a book with you. When that story has been read, Mom is gonna bring you a warm bedspread. And if that quilt begins to wear, Mama's gonna find you a teddy bear. And if that teddy bear won't hug, Mama's gonna catch you a lightning bug. And if that lightning bug won't glow, Mama's gonna play on her old banjo. And if that banjo's out of tune, Mama's gonna show you the harvest moon. And as that moon drifts through the sky, Mama's gonna sing you a lullaby. The end. Shall we read the little engine that could? This is a big one. Ch 
chug a chug a chug. Puff, puff, puff. Ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train, for she had such a jolly load to carry. Her cars were filled with full of good things for boys and girls. There were toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. There were dolls, dolls with blue eyes and yellow curls, dolls with brown eyes and brown bobbed heads, and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. And there were cars full of toy engines, airplanes, tops, jackknives, picture puzzles, books, and every kind of thing boys or girls could want. But that was not all. Some of the cars were filled with all sorts of good things for boys and girls to eat. Big golden oranges, red checked apples, bottles of creamy milk for their breakfasts, fresh spinach for their dinners, peppermint drops, and lollipops for after meal treats. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the little good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily. Then all of a sudden she stopped with a jerk. She simply could not go on another inch. She tried and she tried, but her wheels would not turn. What were all those good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain going to do without the wonderful toys to play with and the good food to eat? Here comes a shiny new engine, said the funny little clown who jumped out of the train. Let us ask him to help us. So, all the dolls and toys cried out together, Please, shiny new engine, won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the shiny new train, new engine, snorted, I pull you. I am a passenger engine. I have just carried a fine big train over the mountain with more cars than you have ever dreamed of. My train had sleeping cars with comfortable berths, a dining car where waiters bring whatever hungry people want to eat, and parlor cars in which people sit in soft armchairs and look out of big plate glass windows. I pull the likes of you, indeed not. And he steamed to the roadhouse, roundhouse, where engines live where they, when they are not busy. How sad the little train and all the dolls and toys felt. Then the little clown called out, The passenger engine is not the only one in the world. Here's another engine coming, a great big strong one. Let us ask him to help us. The little toy clown waved his flag, and the big strong engine came to a stop. Please, oh please, big engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the good little 
The boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the big, strong engine bellowed, I am a freight engine. I have just pulled a big train loaded with big machines over the mountain. These machines print books and newspapers for grown-ups to read. I am a very important engine indeed. I won't pull the likes of you. And the freight engine pulled off indignantly to the roundhouse. The little train and all the do dolls and toys were very sad. Cheer up, cried the little clown. The freight engine is not the only one in the world. Here comes another. He looks very old and tired. But our train is so little, perhaps he can help us. So the little toy clown waved his flag and the dingy, rusty old engine stopped. Please, kind engine, cried the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the little boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the rusty old engine sighed. I am so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot even pull so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. And he rumbled off to the roundhouse chugging. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Then indeed the little train was very, very sad. And the dolls and toys were ready to cry. The little clown called out, Here is an engine, another engine coming, a little blue engine, a very little one. Maybe she will help us. The very little engine came chug chug chugging merrily along. When she saw the toy's clown f toy clown's flag, she stopped quickly. What's the matter, my friends? she asked kindly. Oh, little blue engine cried the dolls of toys. Will you pull us over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the good boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with. we good food to eat unless you help us. Please, please help us, little blue engine. I'm not very big, said the little blue engine. They use me only for switching trains in the yard. I have never been over the mountain. But we must get over the mountain before the children awake, said all the dolls and toys. The very little engine looked up and saw the tears in the doll's eyes, and she thought of the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain who would not have any toys or good food to eat unless she helped. And then she said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. She hitched herself to the little train. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged, and slowly, 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 they started off. The toy clown jumped aboard, and all the dolls and the toy animals began to smile and cheer. Puff, puff, chug, chug, went the little blue engine. I think I can, 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 I think I can. Up, up, up. Faster, 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 the little engine climbed, until at last they reached the top of the mountain. Down in the valley lay the city. Hooray, hooray, cried the funny little clown and all the dolls and toys. The good little boys and girls in the city will be happy because you helped us, little blue engine. The little blue engine smiled and seemed to say as she puffed steadily down the mountain. I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could. The end.